Hello and welcome to today's uh, tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you something pretty much that I've been doing for a long time in XPS and Blender. I'm going to show you how to create your own weapons in Blender using 2D items. See we're, we're working on Murasaki and I have to create her axe and so I'm going to show you how to create it in Blender off a 3D image, off a pretty much a drawing. I'm going to show you how to take this this right here which is right off this page that's one thing I love about it we're gonna take this and we're gonna turn this into a 3D model we're gonna be using a, an SVG which is like a vector graph you're gonna need GIMP for this which I've already did it once but I'm gonna I'll go back through and show you you actually want this to be black but you don't have to so we're just gonna start from scratch we're gonna grab this picture here okay and we're gonna go and bring it up close we're gonna add an alpha channel to it because we want it to be PMG and the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of everything around it. Cut it. And then we're going to scale it up to cover this whole page. We don't need that anymore. This is how I create armor and a lot of other stuff. It, it's very cool. Trust me. Y'all in for a good treat today. I'm not happy where it's set, so I'm gonna bring it down just a little. Right about there. We're gonna export that as a PMG. Murasaki's axe. PMG. Port. Okay, we're just going to name that axe. We're going to put that in one folder. Okay. And we're going to grab an XPS just for it. Okay. Now we're going to start doing the vector graph. Just grab everything. Make sure it's at the max. And then you're going to go right here to path. If you don't have path, you can add it. Click that. That's going to bring that up. And now we're going to export path. That's going to go on X. That's going to be X.SVG. All right. We're now ready to begin putting our model together to create a Marsaki's axe. Let me turn down the music. For about 54. There we go. Make sure it's recording. Okay. Uh, SVG, if you don't have it uh, open, just go to uh, Files, User Preference, SVG, make sure it's on. You just need the importer, you don't need the exporter. 
okay go to file import right here SVG axe SVG now we're gonna have to go down to it now when you see it the first time it's gonna look like this it's gonna look like a hell of a mess well that's not what we want you wanna go right here make sure that's on 2D right there we want both and we want to extrude about five the resolution you can mess with if you want the dev the devs if you want it like really thicker or thinner I wouldn't advise going too high with the def so it's just best to just keep it like that you can offset it too but be careful with offset okay once you've done all this you're now going to hit alt alt plus c and turn it into a mesh now you're going to hit shortcut in and you're going to rename this to 5 axe Now we're going to go and create our uh, our UV map. You can clean it up if you want. You can remove the vertices, which I would advise you always do. Always remove your doubles. Should be about twenty thousand. Okay. Now go down here, UV map. Hit uh, go to UV map. getting ahead of myself UV map go to point from project from view this way it'll be the axe itself it won't be nothing else now we're gonna go to option we're gonna go to the axe and we're gonna grab the PMG and we're gonna scale all this up to this axe make sure this clicked on okay now we just gotta rotate it Don't worry about trying to get perfect. You ain't going to get it perfect on the first try. Don't worry about it. Just try to get as close as you can to it. Scale again. Y. That's upward. Scale X. Cut X. Hit G, X. That moves it to which we've almost got it right where we want it we're gonna slightly tilt it just a little gee oh not if oh crap oh I messed up gy G sx for scale sideways g to move it Fill it needs to go. GS again. GY. And GY to bring it down. And that should be about right where we want it. If it's a little off, don't worry. You can fix it in post. Just scaling everything up is what takes longest. Okay, let me look and see how that looks. That's pretty good. We'll put that in seven, make it transparent so it doesn't. Okay, keep it in there. Go here, option, axe, bam, bam. Okay, there we go. We can now export as an axe. And just in a few minutes, guys, look at that. You've just created y'all's first weapon in Blender. Which we got to rescale it and do some coloring, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? You can do this with armor and everything, as long as you got a flat picture. Which I did at once just to make sure that I didn't flop it. Don't worry if it comes out like that. That don't mean crap. 
That just means that it didn't assign the textures. I don't know why it does dummy. And there you go, guys. There's Marsaki's X. The bone's not in the right place, but we don't care about that. But there you go. In just a few moments, there you go. There's Marsaki's uh, X from Tanami Asagi. And we just created it in Blender. And if anybody wants to see what it looks like, I will show you uh, what Marasaki's axe looks like. I just got to be careful with Tammy Asagi pictures because Tammy Asagi is quite adult. But there you go. That's what colors it'll be. Here is the finished product. Oh, crap. Oh, it's smoothing it out. Yep, there's the finished product. It's on both sides. Like I said, it's not going to move the right way yet, because. But yeah, there you go. There's Marsaki's axe. Let's we'll scale it up just about one. And yeah, there you go. That's how you create uh, weapons in Blender. We're going to have to do some cleanup on it, but like I said, beggars can't be choosers. Which cleanup you just do yourself after you take it back in Blender. You'll just take it and uh, you can't do it right now because I'll show you if you try to uh, vertice smooth mesh, it's going to uh, do this. It's going to destroy it. Because see, the, the original vertices are not resigned, so it's going to look like that if you try to clean mesh. But yeah, that only took 12 minutes. And just imagine, you can do this with any weapon, as long as you've got a picture of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I got more coming. I'm going to have some more advanced videos coming for you all. I'm going to show you how to actually create your own weapons. Actually, how to create from a mesh and the thing like your square circles and cylinders and stuff. I'm going to show you actually how to bend and break and create stuff with them. I got quite a lot of videos coming. I can't say when my next one will be because I gotta I gotta work the weekend. But hopefully I'll have more for y'all soon. This SSB signing out. Take these guys.